Hey everyone, it's Chris here. Today I'm testing out Actually Smart Summon on my Tesla Model 3 Performance that's running the new full self-driving version 14.1.4. I'm just curious if it's actually gonna work a lot smoother. So the car's parked across the lot, about 200 feet away. It is backing up first. I believe that's due to not having a front bumper camera to ensure there's no object in front. Takes this turn a bit too wide, in my opinion. If there was an incoming car, if it would stutter or if it would have waited before it made the right turn. In a busy area like I've done in the past, it would just stutter or it would just get stuck and you would have to rescue it. And it's a bit embarrassing when there's other people around or if there's a car behind it and you're causing, you know, a, a slight delay because you have to walk up to the car to go rescue it. So this is why I'm trying it in an empty parking lot. And here it comes, it's approaching. Looks like it finally made it without stuttering or getting stuck. But once again, this is not a busy parking lot. It's an empty parking lot. Hopefully it'll perform just as well in a real world environment with other people and cars around. Looking forward to the feature where you don't have to hold down the button and also the banish feature where it drops you off at curbside and then it'll go park itself. Thanks for watching.